What's going on, Vinyl community? Welcome to another video with The Record Spinner. In today's video, I am going to be doing an unboxing of the Black Sabbath Volume 4 Super Deluxe Vinyl Box Set. Uh, today is Friday, February 12th, which means that this just came out today, and I figured, what other time to showcase this box set on the channel than on its release date? Now, this release is very exciting because, of course, we have seen deluxe versions and super deluxe versions of albums such as Paranoid as well as the first album and Masters of Reality, but this is the first time that Volume 4 has been given the Super Deluxe treatment, and what is exciting about this box set is that Steven Wilson was involved in creating some new mixes. Um, of course, Steven Wilson has been uh, very productive in remixing catalogs such as King Crimson, Yes, uh, Emerson, Lincoln, Palmer, and now he's finally getting to the metal guys. And uh, I'm just very excited for this, and uh, I hope that you are excited as I am. Now, of course, just to show it off, here is the hype sticker here. I hope you guys can see that perfectly. Disregard the glare of the ring light. And it says, the Ultimate Black Sabbath Package 5LP Volume 4 Super Deluxe Edition featuring original album newly remastered, two LPs of unreleased outtakes mixed by Stephen Wilson, live in the UK 1973 double LP, a 40-page book with photos, artwork, and liner notes, and a colored poster. Now, let's dig into this thing. Let's get the shrink wrap off and get to the goodies inside. All right, so right off the bat, upon taking the shrink wrap off, here is a little spec sheet, which basically breaks down the uh, track list, as well as kind of describing what is featured in the sets. And this is also replicated on the back of the box as well. And then for the sake of showing, here is the front. Now that indeed is the original photo that was used for the album cover. And this is, as far as I know, this is the first time that I've seen uh, the photo unedited because you know how it appears on the front cover. And the box comes off like this. And let's dig in. So right off the bat, first we have the hardbound book. And now, of course, this is the original album cover as we all know it. Of course, as you can see, that's what I'm talking about with the photo. And let's get this open. So there's the little uh, devil design right there, which is pretty cool to see. I'm going to try to make sure I get through every possible page. Aha. So these are the photos that were featured uh, in the original artwork. Let's see, make sure I'm not missing anything. All right, that actually, we should be getting along this fine. Black Sabbath Volume 4 Super Deluxe. Some credits. Cool. All right. So there is that original photo once again. Bits of liner notes. There's a, an album flyer, which is quite cool. There's a press advert for uh, Tomorrow's Dream, which was the single, the first single released off of the uh, album. Lots of posters and advertisements, which is cool to see. Very much of the time. Nice live shots, newspaper clippings. Very, very cool. Ah, so here's a little interesting thing there. So this right here, let me see if it says it on the bottom. Unpublished US album ad. So of course, for all you Sabbath freaks out there, you know this, but originally they wanted to call the album Snowblind, which was a reference to their <laughs> habits, uh, but the American label Warner Brothers would not allow it, so they changed it to volume four. But there is a rather notable credit featured in the album credits, which I'll show you if it's featured. 
Nice. Very cool live shots there. This is absolutely awesome. This is such a fun read indeed. Ah, uh, there's the tape boxes right there. Very cool. And of course, we have some vinyl center labels along with some single covers. Very cool. Then there's also all of the entire track list broken down there. And then this is the kind of centerfold of the gatefold artwork. Another cool live shot. And of course, yes, there's Geezer and Bill. These were the other photos featured in the uh, album artwork. The, uh, the photo insert, I should say, that's featured in the gatefold. So there you go. That is the hardbound book. Very, very nice. And this is exactly what I think it is. Cool. So we have a big blow-up poster version of the Snowblind press advert from the U.S. Ice hot till hell freezes over on Warner's. That is really, really cool. So basically, I guess this was the original artwork, I should say. So that's really, really cool. This will look good in the bedroom. And now we get to some vinyl. Now, here is everything. So we're going to start off first with the original album. So, of course, the album got a new remaster, which is cool to be featured here. Now, um, as obviously, as you can tell, there's going to be different unique covers for each of the components uh, of this box set, which I will break down and show you. And also showcases the track list on the bottom. And of course, just just real quick, you know, Wheels of Confusion, Tomorrow's Dream, Changes, Supernaut, Snowblind, Cornucopia, uh, The Beautiful Acoustic Laguna Sunrise, uh, St. Vitus Dance, and Under the Sun. I mean, just an absolutely fantastic Sabbath album. Phenomenal. So awesome to see get the, uh, the deluxe treatments. Nice polyline sleeves. Nice touch. And here it is on the olive green Warner Brothers label. But as you can tell, Warner Brothers is now defunct. So it is now Warner Records. As you can see there. Hope you guys can catch that label nicely. And just by looking in the dead wax, this was pressed over at Optimal in Germany. And let's see. Any etchings to indicate who did the mastering? Ah, yes. Baza at Alchemy. So that means that this was done by Barry Grint over at Alchemy. And uh, he did the mastering of the Paranoid Super Deluxe set, which I was very impressed with. And I also did an unboxing for that as well, if you want to go ahead and check it out. And now we get to outtakes, new mixes. And there you, you see uh, Tony right there. Now, in this case, uh, for the new mixes, um, it looks like multi-tracks for some songs went missing. So the only tracks that we have new mixes of are uh, Wheels of Confusion, uh, Changes, Supernaut, Snowblind, Laguna Sunrise, and an instrumental version of Under the Sun. So obviously some songs are missing, and obviously the vocals are missing from Under the Sun, but I guess Stephen Wilson was able to uh, make way with what he was given. And then, of course, um, there's uh, some alternative takes, false starts in studio dialogue that also appears on this as well. And we basically have three different takes of Wheels uh, of Confusion, along with a false start with some studio dialogue. So it kind of gives you a sort of fly-on-the-wall experience as if you were in the studio with Sabbath as they are working on this album. There's the center label there. And then here is the flip side. So, very, very awesome, awesome stuff. And there is much more to go. Here is the third LP. So this is the alternative takes, false starts, and studio dialogue. And this basically rounds out the studio outtakes portion of this set. Uh, we have um, take four. Uh, an of uh, Wheels of Confusion, an outtake of The Straightener, which was the little subtitle end piece to Wheels of Confusion, uh, Snowblind, Alternative Take 1, Incomplete, Supernaut Outtake, uh, Supernaut Alternative Takes with False Starts, and then we also have Under the Sun, False Start with Studio Dialogue, and Under the Sun, Alternative Take with Guide Vocal. 
very cool. Center label there. Hope you guys can see that perfectly fine. All right, and then we get to the last portion of the set. Let's see, here we go. And that is Live in the UK 1973. And yes, the recordings featured in this portion of the set uh, were originally released in 1980 as Live at Last, and then uh, which was basically not sanctioned by the band whatsoever. Uh, but then they officially got released under the band's approval um, as part of the Past Lives uh, album, which was in 2002. So basically, I think this is like a different, complete, like alternate mix done of these recordings and uh, definitely would have been a cool double live album if it came out back when it was recorded because uh, apparently I believe this was slated to be released at some point but then uh, Sabbath instead put out Sabbath Bloody Sabbath and you know the rest is history uh, but yeah this is based this basically comprises of the recordings that are featured on live at last and past live so we have tomorrow's dream sweet leaf war pig snow blind an early version of killing yourself to live which would be featured on Sabbath Bloody Sabbath Cornucopia, uh, the big Wicked World Jam, which has bits of, you know, Supernaut, and there's a drum solo in this and that, which is pretty cool. Embryo, Children of the Grave, and Paranoid. So, it's very cool. And this comes with a gatefold as well. And we basically have some posters uh, and some live shots, which are all taken from the, uh, from the book, which is very nice. Center labels there. Pressed very nicely, too. I am quite impressed with the uh, pressing quality of this box set. Optimal, in general, usually does a very good job when it comes to uh, pressing up records. And inside here, we have the fifth LP. And uh, I am very, very excited to be giving this box set a listen. And like I said, this is the first time that volume four has been given the deluxe treatment and it's really awesome to see the sabbath albums now getting this treatment because of course like i mentioned we got the paranoid super deluxe set and uh who's to say that we might be getting more of these and perhaps now that stephen wilson's involved maybe we'll get some remixes of you know sabbath bloody sabbath or sabotage we shall see fingers fingers crossed but there you guys go. That is my unboxing of the Black Sabbath Volume 4 Super Deluxe Vinyl Box Set. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to check me out on Patreon. See you guys in the next video, and most importantly, keep the records spinning.